Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with Anthem. If you enjoy this video, please pay escorts to watch and like my videos, as this really helps spread the good word of my channel. Okay, so I decided to play Anthem during its second free open demo. I played by myself because I couldn't get any of my friends to play with me. You know you're in trouble when you can't get your friends to play a free demo with you. But regardless of my perturbing social life, Anthem in a nutshell is shooting aliens. Shooting lots and lots of aliens. You sometimes walk around this town, which is like the central hub where you get missions and your character walks so slowly. It's like you're in one of those towns from Skyrim, but instead of fighting dragons, you're learning to walk again as you recover from a double knee reconstruction. The good news is, when you leave the town, you have this high-powered suit called a javelin to traverse the huge map and shoot aliens with. I tried to make my javelin look like Master Chief from the Halo series. If you squint your eyes and use your imagination a little bit, you can see that I did, frankly, a terrible job at recreating the iconic Master Chief suit. I tried to save it and make it look better, and so I put a skin on my javelin and it ended up looking like like Leonardo from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. In fact, when I look back on it now, that is one ugly ass javelin. Jesus, only I could make a badass robot from the future look like a child's drawing that was so bad his disappointed parents didn't even stick it on the fridge. Anyway, it's super easy to get the hang of the controls. Flying around and using the special abilities is actually pretty moist too, but I find myself a bit on the fence with Anthem. I feel like this game could be potentially an amazing experience, or it could turn out to be an interesting novelty that gets old quickly. I guess it's a common problem that loot shooters have, where the core gameplay loop is killing aliens, earning better loot and guns, and then repeating that same process 10,000 times. The defining factor will be how long the core gameplay of shooting aliens will stay interesting for. See, some people eat carbohydrates to get their sustenance. Some people have a coffee in the morning. But I personally drink the tears of my salty little enemies to get me through the day. And this is fine when my enemies are other real players who offer a challenge, but when my enemies are just dumb artificial intelligence, I start to get malnourished. If the AI is actually challenging, then that's a different story, but I feel like the enemies in Anthem, at least on the normal and hard difficulties that the demo offered, would quickly become quite boring to fight. I hope when the option to further increase the difficulty level is introduced, enemies actually move around more and behave in interesting ways, and they don't just have a health and a damage buff. Anthem has all this verticality and a huge scale of map, and I would love to see some epic battles with smart aliens rather than just me flying around while I rain terror down from above on a bunch of clueless bullet sponges. Maybe if Anthem throws in a good story and adds more context it could give more meaning to the shooting, but honestly, it takes a good bit of writing to have me not skip the cutscenes. I'm not listening to two or three cringeworthy NPCs stand statically opposite each other while they have some boring conversation about saving the world. The only time bad acting is socially acceptable is on adult videos when they at least bang afterwards. But hey, of course we have to consider that this is just an open demo, and the javelins and the massive maps that you can fly around both felt refreshing and I did have a good time. Anthem is also only PvE right now, with no option to verse other real players. I think fighting other people in javelins would be insanely fun, but for the moment, no one will be receiving hate messages from salty gamers they killed, which as I mentioned earlier, is basically a protein shake for me. There is also of course the inevitable microtransaction drama EA always finds itself in. When did putting microtransactions in full price games become common business practice? It's so greedy. I blame the FIFA lads who wanted Cristiano Ronaldo in their ultimate team so badly they took out a mortgage, or stole their mum's credit card, or started selling crack to toddlers if that's what it took to raise the funds and buy all the FIFA loot boxes as they needed. It's like EA has taken what they learned from their sport games and tried to apply it to all of their other genres as well. What happened to the days of buying a full price game and getting a finished game? Sure they had downloadable content, but back then people were happy to buy it if the game was good. A screenshot was leaked showing that one of the javelin skins in Anthem could cost $20. Now apparently this was a placeholder and the real price isn't set yet, but geez man, I am just feeling like this game could go one of two 
two ways. And number one, you kill a million brain dead aliens to make your stupid ass javelin look like a teenage mutant ninja turtle. Or I guess you could just pay five or ten dollars for the skin and save yourself even playing the game. Or number two, the core gameplay loop of killing aliens and earning loot stays interesting and exciting. I'm not going to write this game off yet or sing its praises, but instead I'm going to wait for some reviewers I trust to release their videos before I even consider buying this as I am just so sick of buying unfinished games. If you're interested in what reviewers I'll watch, I'll be listening to the one and only IGN. Of course I am just kidding, some soy boy with purple hair from IGN will give this game a 9 out of 10 and then deposit a $50,000 check that was anonymously sent to him a few days prior and then use the cash to buy himself a trip to Thailand so he can spend 2 weeks shagging ladyboys and never playing Anthem again. In summary, the javelin suit is cool and flying around is refreshing, but the combat loop of killing aliens will be what ultimately determines if this game is worth it. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Stay hydrated, you absolute legends. Thanks for watching and thanks to my patrons. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.